Hi Toy Tractor Times fans, I'm at the 2022 Lafayette Farm Toys Show in Indiana and I'm here with Connor Seaslack and we're going to take a look at a great looking New Holland themed harvest and then some big John Deere tractors in the uh, shed just across the street. Connor, thanks for coming out to the show and uh, you mind give us a tour of everything here on the display? Yep. Okay, we'll start here with the uh, New Holland Combine. It's a CR890 on PowerFlex tracks, I scratch built. And I weathered it up a little bit to make sure it looked like it was working. I have the cornmeal in the hopper and a little bit on the top of the cab. Now I want to take a look at this hopper. This is something I've always wished Ertl would make. And that's the folding hopper. And we can kind of see it makes that V where the Ertl toy, which is also factory correct, has more of the tub top. So that, that's kind of a nice build. And we can come over on this side. 16 row corn head. Yep. And then we can see those power flex tracks, which is a recently new feature from New Holland on their combines. And then we move on to the small frame T9 with triples. I always like seeing triple tires. I think they look cool. Yep. What model T9 is it? Uh, T9 565. Very good. On grain cart duty. Yep. And I have filmed several tractors with triples on grain carts. Mm -hmm. It's always neat to see. Yep. Big J M cart. It's also weathered up a little bit. And then of course we've got to look at the trucks oh, yeah. rolling some coal coming in the field here. Mm -hmm. Gotta get there fast on the green carts. And then uh, Ford Global Service Truck. Yep. That was built by uh, Jason Shireman, Four Low Tractors. Very cool truck. Mm -hmm. And we've got some more New Holland harvesting over here. Yep, an older New Holland combine with a 12 row header. And that's another small frame T9. Same grain cart, but on duels, tandem duels. So this one's from about 12 years ago now, but yep. still very cool. Mm -hmm. New Holland four wheel drive. And then we've got the older CR here with a yep. corn head going through. Yep. The chaffs on the feeder house. And what model do we have here? I'm not sure. It's here. It looks like the CR970, so yep. it's the first generation. That was the big one. Mm -hmm. It's got the cornmeal on there and everything. It's unloading into the grain cart. The JNM 1112X. Yep. So, what did you use for your standing corn stalks? Uh, those are corn tassels that I cut down to height. And then the cut corn, ta or corn stalks are tassels I strip down and cut. Okay. And then I use some sawdust and some spray adhesive to cover the ground. That looks good. And we can see you put the power lines out here on the road. Yep. And then we come over here, uh, same farm? Yep. They'd be a blue and some green farm. They got a 9R there, 9570R, steel oh. tanks. Yeah, the 2015 model. They yep. always look pretty cool with the steel tanks yep. on the back. Getting ready to go out for the day with the pro till. Big 40 footer. Yep. They do an excellent job. That'd be a new demo unit, that pro till. Okay. Uh, they usually run a horse joker, which you'll see. And then we've got a blade here. Yep, for grading out gravel or whatever they need to do. And a big ripper. Yep, they'd use that just to get rid of some compaction around the headlands sometimes. Then we can see the machine shed side of things here. More 9Rs. Yeah, big 9620R on the Landall VT. Got the LSW tires. Yeah. And then uh, which model do we have over here on duels? That's a 9570R on smaller 710 duels with my scratch built um, Landall field cultivator and crumbler. And then what brand of crumbler is that? Oh, uh, that's an Umberford. Okay. Nice, and then it uh, looks like a DB60 planter? Yep, two of them there. One's for planting beans and the other's for planting corn. They're all just sitting there waiting. You even got the uh, wood blocks here to yep. prop up the hitch. Yep, make sure they don't sink into the ground. Now uh, here's uh, again another CR with duels. Yep, this and is. this is what I was talking about out there with your combine with the lid open there. Now we can see it folded flat, which is pretty cool. Yep, that's a custom thing I did. I cut the other hopper off and I glued on a new flat piece to make sure it's closed because they're working on it. They ran a rock through it when they were harvesting beans. So they're pulling the thresher out for the rotor. That's always a fun job. And then we yeah. can see it getting pulled out. Mm -hmm. We've got the feeder house sitting off to the side. 
There's some other miscellaneous yeah. junk around. All the good tools up top and yep. parts. And so this is the horse joker over here? Yep. That was 3D printed by me. Looks good. Another good tillage tool. Yeah, on a 9510 uh, r That's one of my favorite 9Rs. Yep. They always say the joker, you know, there's always one joker in the deck. Yeah. And that's a, a trump card, so they... We're just testing out to see what other high-speed discs are out there. This was the first one they tried, and they were really impressed. They bought it a few years ago. So now they're well, looking to expand. Very good. And they got your fuel station here. Yep. We're fueling up all the big tractors in the front. And then we've got a new Holland Smart Tracks here, a Genesis tractor with uh, front duels and rear tracks. Yep, I custom did that with uh, Herd Farms kit on Shapeways. Nice. Yep. And you can see it's being charged right now because it was dead this morning. So oh, it's good charged. to get it on that trickle charger. Yep. And then a Landall chisel plow. Yep. That was scratch built by me. Well, that's a cool setup. I've got a, a D8 Genesis just like that on yep. uh, the Tractor Power YouTube. Thanks to Michigan Farming Photos. Yep. <laughs> Well, Connor, thank you for the tour. It's a great looking display, mm -hmm. and thank you for bringing it out to the show. Yeah. And thank you for watching Toy Tractor Times YouTube, where there are hundreds of videos on farm displays and custom projects. And we're always excited to see machines like this on Connor's display.